Very good morning to you. Welcome to my thought for the day. I'm going to just uh, use as our thought for, di- for the day the incident uh, which occurred on the cross, which only Luke uh, tells us about, which is usually called the, the penitent thief. The thief who was sorry, really. And uh, the other Gospels tell us that he was crucified between two thieves and the the foretelling of Isaiah predicted that he would be, in his death, he would be numbered amongst the sinners. Um, And he was crucified between these two men who deserved the punishment uh, that they had received. And to begin with, they mocked him. And uh, they they heard everyone saying to Jesus, "If if you if you really are the Son of God, just get yourself off the cross, you know, and prove it." And and they said, "Well, when you do that, save us as well, yourself uh, as, as well, so that we can get off as well." And then one of them turned to him and said, um, uh, "Don't you fear God? Uh, you're under this same sentence of condemnation." Um, This man has done nothing wrong. Why are you saying that to him? Um, And then he says just a few words to Jesus. He says, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. And I think this is one of the most comforting uh, stories of Jesus. Here is Jesus on the cross dying suffering enormously, suffering more than any of us can ever really imagine with the weight of the sin and disease and illness and sickness of the entire world, uh, past, present and future, on his shoulders. And he still is able to be concerned for this man who is dying with him. And uh, it's been a great comfort to me as a chaplain because very often I have met, especially in the last few years of my life, uh, my working life until retirement when I worked in a, in a hospice, I very often only met people um, a short while before they died. And the wonderful thing about the gospel is that it doesn't matter how late in your life you turn. You, you, it's never too late to turn back to Jesus and say, Lord, remember me, um, as this criminal did, even how ha- no matter how much you've rejected him in the past, it doesn't matter. Um, the invitation is still open, even at the last, in the, on the last day. But the problem is you don't know when your last day is going to be. So you can't say, well, well, I'm going to live my life for myself. I'm going to do exactly what I want. <clears throat> I'm not going to have anything to do with Jesus. <clears throat> and... Um, uh, when I'm when I'm dying, I'll accept him, and then I'll live my life just the way I want to. That doesn't actually work because you don't know when he might ask you to come um, into the next world. So it's this wonderful moment <clears throat> in which tells us that the grace of God is extended to us at any time. Um, but when you realise that you are being invited, accept the invitation. Don't put it off and you will be welcomed with open arms into paradise. That's a wonderful, that's a wonderful story. That's in Luke chapter 23, uh, verses 32 to 43. Have a great time thinking about that on today, Easter Saturday, and I will see you again tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.